Hi everyone, it is January 1st, 2020. I promised I would do this video sooner, but just haven't had time to get the inside set up like I wanted to. But um, this is the, I guess this is part, hmm, I'll have to check, three or four um, of the videos I've done on the renovation of this trailer. It was a two horse trailer, it was white, pretty, pretty rusted. Um, we sanded it all down and put flexi seal on the top. Comes in a spray can or a you can brush it on and seal all the joints with that. Sounds like my dog's barking. Um, and we put kills paint on the top and put like three coats of paint on the top to get that waterproof. Painted the whole thing. And Let's see, got her all ready to go. We had some steps made for uh, to get up inside. Like I said, this is a an older model two horse trailer. If I had to do it over again, I would do um, a newer one. <clears throat> That's aluminum, a lot lighter weight. Uh, this one is, I guess it's all steel, so you need um, you know a pretty heavy duty car to pull this. But it turned out cute. We upgraded the crank system here. That was bent when I got it. I guess someone tried to move and forgot it was down. So it was just too hard for me to crank up and down. So we added that, so that's new. And added a new pack here. That's for the brakes, his electric brakes. And then, so okay, so it's got this trunk here in the front, the storage unit. So what I did here, <clears throat> sometimes when I go to shows, um, you know, you can't use an electric heater because it's too hard on their on their electrical panels, too much of a impact, I guess, and a strain on it. So anyway, so if you have a propane tank, you can put a propane heater in, and you're all on your own. And then you just need a electric for the uh, for the igniter switch. And it makes for good storage. So what I did was I put the hole in the side to run the gas line out. And then that goes inside. And I'm going to, I name on the front. This is going to be Wild Acorns Pottery right there in the front. I don't have that done yet though. Let's see, when I got it, it did not have windows. I put plexiglass windows on the side. And then my ladder, you can see it's up top. And then I have hooks here and on the side. And that's where the awning is gonna attach. And so when I go to shows, outdoor shows, I'll be able to hook the awning up and set stuff up outside also. Tables and uh, stuff to put more pottery on. So these make a great, a great um, little st mobile storefront. Let me take you inside. I got a little little hook up here. Let's see. I can tie this over here. Right now, I just have an extension cord running out here from the house, so I can hook the lights up. So there's the, the top shelf. That's the bench where I'll sit and take cash. So I've got my heater running, so let me go in here and show you what this is all about. So, okay. So I had a Get what kind they call them, but it was, a, it was a big heater, propane heater, and it was so loud. It was just, um, you couldn't hear yourself think. So I got a Mr. Heater, the big buddy, and it's been working great. So, okay, so that's the front. I got little white lights. There's a shelf up here for my pottery. I 
I finally got it set up. It took me a while because I've been doing shows. I didn't want to have to set it all up and then take it all down. So, okay, so here's this heater. The big buddy. This one working out great. Let's see what have I got it on. I think I got it on medium. Turn it on high. And it even has a fan here. Turn the fan on and it blows it out more. So I stain the floor. The floor had rubber mats on it. So I took the rubber mats out. We took the divider door. There was a big steel divider door. Took that out and stained the floor. Or sanded the floor, stained it. And let me show you this side first. I wish I had a wide angle lens to a little bit easier, but. So I got a lot of these over Hobby Lobby. Um, all these racks, I'll be able to hang stuff on here. And some racks over here, little baskets and stuff. And then I have some of my empty crates here from where I took the pottery out. My goal is to, they'll, they'll go underneath these shelves on the other side. So the back, here's the back door. The back door I'll open during a show. And I have a step down for that too, but I'll open that up. And I got my cups there. I hope to actually add some more uh, shelving on the back door too. I'm not real happy with this one here. It's taking up too much space. So I'll probably move that and get something bigger there. But so the top of the door had a gap. So I cut this piece of wood here and added these, I don't know what they call them, <laughs> these connectors and screwed that in to keep some of the air out. Um, and then I also ran electric along the top here. I've got one light bar. I plan to add a couple more. These are strip light bars, so I'll just be able to add one uh, into another and another. They're LED, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, okay, let me show you if I can get back far enough. I might have to step outside. Get a far enough view. Okay, so... Uh-oh, my battery's low. So, okay, so the shelving is just... We, we decided on the metal black shelving because it was lighter weight. And it is strapped to the wall so that when I am moving... Uh, I'm going to take all this pottery down, wrap it back in the bubble wrap, and put it in these crates along the bottom. And then I'll run a bungee cord along the side. So, okay, so I'll run a bungee cord from here across the front, and then all the pottery will be in these crates wrapped in bubble wrap. So I will have to take it off the shelves, of course, when I'm moving. But it's so convenient to have it all in one place. So i got three racks in here. And then the racks are held to, this, to the walls by clips. You can see that. So this is how it looks finished. And I can fit quite a bit of pottery on these. This is the the five shelf units. And this I'm actually very low on inventory. I usually have twice this much stuff. But like I said, hopefully um, you know the weather will be nice uh, when I go to a show and I can utilize the outside space. Because the back door will be open also. Like I said, I did, the sh I did the ceiling too, painted everything white to reflect the light. And I've got some old drawers here. 
to put things in. I don't really like how the platters are laying in there. I have to move those and kind of rearrange those a little bit. They don't fit in there really well. But I do like the Coke cases to set my uh, some mugs in. My watering cans. I'm not sure I like this. Uh, I got this table here. I'm not real sure I'm gonna leave that there or not. But I've got my little gnome Santas with the the few that I have left in here. And that's about it. That's the whole trailer. They said. Um, Got my heater on. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. This is gonna. This is, has been a great storefront, a mobile storefront. I've had people come over um, and shop out of it on my driveway, so it has really uh, worked out great. So you know, we painted the outside, painted the inside, added the shelves, and it really wasn't too hard. This video is probably not showing it really well, but um, just, you know, if you're in an outdoor show, you know how it is. If it starts raining, storming, um, just be a safe place to come in. And I can hang things on these uh, racks here too. These these are just gates from Lowe's. Uh, do something with my empty crates, but so I hope that shows it pretty well.